All right, how's it going guys? My name is KC and welcome back to three low budget Five Nights at Freddy's fan games. I said the last one was an experiment and I'd do more if it did well. It's safe to say that it's a successful experiment because it's doing very well as of right now. So I absolutely had to make another one. I asked my buddy Jaden to find three more low budget looking games for me to play and he did just that. So as always, we're gonna do two nights of each game in this video. The first game in the lineup is called The Diner. It's seven years old. It was taken down from Game Jolt, but re-uploaded. However, it's unfinished as the developer no longer has the assets that he needs to complete it. Despite it being unfinished though, this is the best we're going to get because it's apparently the most stable version of the game ever. And there's been no updates about it for the last seven years. So without wasting any more time, let's check this out. Does this thing even have sound? Oh, it does have sound. It's just very quiet. Okay. Oh, only two nights? Damn, okay. Don't keep using the same thing for too long as bad things can happen. Oh, there's a phone call, okay. Hello, you're there? Uh, hey! Uh, welcome to your new job at Fred Bear's Family Diner. Uh, it's so nice to finally have this place back open after all these years. Uh, even if the building is a little run down. So anyways, on to your job. Uh, I'm pretty sure you already understand the basics, you know. Watch the cameras, make sure no one breaks in, you know the drill. But there is, uh, a bit more of a job than the description. I'm not too sure if you've heard any of the rumours of animatronic walking around at night and such. Well, you didn't hear it from me, okay? But most of these rumours are true. I really shouldn't be telling you this, but I'd rather you know than get yourself killed. Our engineers say it's a problem with their night mode and servos and things. But nothing's really confirmed at this point. Uh, the most important thing is that if an animatronic does find their way into your office, uh, they're going to try and stuff you into one of those suits we have out back. Uh, we've already had one incident involving this. We don't need another. So in order to protect yourself from the animatronics, there are a few things you can do. Uh, there is a locker in the corner of the room. Uh, if you do encounter an animatronic, just hide in the locker for a while. Uh, they shouldn't be able to see you if you're in the locker, so you should be fine. Um, and if you look over to your left, you'll notice another monitor. Now, the only thing you have to worry about on this one is Freddy. Um, he hasn't moved or been active in a while, so... Yeah, he's just been running there, you know. Uh, but better safe than sorry, you know what I mean. Um, even <laughs> Damn! What the hell was that? You had the animatronics moving while I was trying to listen to the phone call? I didn't even know what was going on! Oh my god! Okay, if we see any of them, hide in the locker. Um... I got a power error though, how do I make sure that doesn't happen? Okay, so when I see the animatronics over here, I gotta hide from them in the locker. What about this? What does this do? How do I keep another power error from happening? I hate when Five Nights at Freddy's fan games do this. This is one of the dumbest things you can do as a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game developer. Have the animatronics moving while the phone call is still going, and also have the phone guy beat around the bush and bullshit around with the conversation instead of just telling you what you need to know to defend yourself, so that you're not dying while the phone call is playing. How fucking hard is that? But I'm not really legally allowed to tell you anymore, so yeah, I think that's about it. Good luck. Oh wait, 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 wait! I almost forgot to warn you about the other Spring Bonnie. Uh, if you see her, just avoid any eye contact. Uh, pull out the monitor, or put it back down to avoid her. Um, don't use the vents too much. Is that the old Spring Bonnie? I don't know, man. This is terrible. Oh my god. With their night mode and servos and things. But nothing's really confirmed at this point. Uh, the most important thing... I think that was the one I had to pull the camera up on. The one who I can't make eye contact with, you know? Uh, don't worry, though. You won't be able to hear that sound. Uh, by the way, if you look on your camera map, 
you will see I can't use my camera. There's a power error. I ran out of power. I don't even fucking know how the power works in this game. I don't know. I'm completely lost. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm also pulling the camera up just to be safe. He's not legally allowed to tell me anymore. What the fuck does that even mean? What the fuck is this game? This is the most complete version ever, but... <laughs> it's just barely playable. Look at this shit. Oh. Okay. All right, we're out of power and still haven't died yet somehow. I've just been hiding in the locker this whole time. This game is, uh, this is the most complete and stable version of the game. But even then, it's still barely stable enough, apparently. It's 4 a.m., but I'm still not dead yet. I've just been fending off this other golden bonnie that we can't look at by opening the locker and pulling up the camera too, just to be safe. We still got that Freddy thing on the other camera, who I have to, uh, you know, perform a hard reset on if he moves, which I can't see if he moves, I can't even use that camera. But somehow he hasn't killed me yet. Interesting. And of course I gotta hide in the locker because there's some other animatronics over here. They're gonna be, you know, out the window right over there, which I can't see because it's dark. But when they're there, I gotta hide in the locker. And because I'm in the locker, you know, y'all are hearing the footsteps. They're coming here and leaving immediately because I see I'm in the locker. Alright, it's 5 a.m. and we're still not dead yet. And another one just left. Oh my god, this is probably going to be the highlight of this video. And there's still two more games that I got to play that Jaden sent me. This is the first game. Just imagine what the other two are like. I can't wait to find out. I'm really excited to make this video. Alright, can the night end? Is the night even going to end, or is that broken too? Nope. Alright, we d 7 a.m. Not 6 a.m., what? Okay. Well, now night two is unlocked. So let's do what we did last time. Cheese the whole game. Open that shit up and let the power run out already. There we go. Power error. Now just sit in the locker when we see that Bonnie thing. Open that shit up. Pull the camera up too just to be safe. I don't even know if I have to do that, but I'm doing it anyway. Because a phone call did say something about using the camera on that thing, so. Yeah. What's that noise? What the fuck is that? Wind? How you doing? See you later. This thing is barely functional. This is the most functional version of the game that we're ever gonna get. And even so, it's still barely functional. Look at this shit. I am exploiting the fuck out of everything in this game right now. <laughs> Phone call didn't say nothing about the power, I don't think. I couldn't pay attention because of everything that was going on. But it's not that it matters. Just do this. This is how you cheese the game, right here. Only two nights. You know, uh, when I first started playing the game and seeing just how fucked up it is, I was about to rage quit right then and there. I wanted to. I was going to. But I just decided, no, 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 it's, it's still far too early. Maybe just, just try and stick it out, you know? Hold out. Persevere. Maybe you can figure something out and figure out a way to beat it. And it looks like I did. So I'm glad I didn't rage quit. My patience with uh, these kinds of low-budget Five Nights at Freddy's fan games is the lowest that it's ever been before in my entire life. Or at least in my entire YouTube career. It's a good thing there's only two nights of this game. You can bet your ass I am never coming back to it again. Not like I can. Again, only two nights. And this is it. There hasn't been a single update for this game in seven years. This is all we're getting. We did it. Nice. Okay, that was boring, dumb, and anticlimactic. Without wasting any more time, let's transition over to the next game right now. All right, guys, so this is game number two called The Fazbear Return. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we played a game with this exact same name in the last three low-budget Five Nights at Freddy's fan game video that I did. So I can only assume that this is made by the same guy, but this is a much older game. It's got the name Return in it, so... Um, you already know we're in for quite the adventure, as we always are whenever we play a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game that's got the name Return in it, you know, Return to Freddy's, the Fazbear Return, you know, that was the third game I did in the last video and it was terrible, okay? And also, to make matters worse, the biggest nail in the coffin is the fact that this music that we're listening to right now is the same music from the Return to Freddy's 4, so, okay, let's start playing. We gotta uh, press buttons to save data, alright? Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. 
After the fire of Fazbear's fright, the horror attraction, the sold items were used for a new Freddy Fazbear pizza. You're we looking for a security guard to work the night shift, not responsible for injury or dismemberment. $130 a week to apply. Call 1 888 Faz Fazbear. Okay, and thank you for letting me read this shit. All right, night one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, what? Tell me about what's the mask for? What's this generate power? Not generate power. What's this generate sound for? This play sound. What's that for? Is that a vent over there? Oh my god. Jaden was not playing no games when I asked him to. Find me some more low budget Five Nights at Freddy's fan games. Guys, look at this shit. This is as low budget as it gets. Oh no. God damn. How far away is he from me? Oh! How did that what? get me? <laughs> I guess I wasn't expecting. I was expecting him to show up in my office first. I'll listen to the phone call again. Let me stop worrying about the low budget graphics and actually listen to the phone call. Hey, welcome to your new summer drive at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, this is a pre recorded message to be your guide at this and properly do your job. Uh, well, you have your cameras at the left and the panel at the right. With the panel, you can generate power for the building and with the camera. to make sure no one steals anything, uh, whatever. Uh, well, I will tell you something. These animatronics can move around during the night due to... So they might see you as an endoskeleton. And, you know. But, we have a solution for that. It's a mask, although uh, I will tell you. It will work just for some animatronics, but I think you can serve Saved this night. So that's it. See you soon. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotta use the mask. When I see anybody in this camera right here, or this camera, or this camera, I don't I don't fucking know. Use the mask. He said it's only gonna work for some animatronics, not all of them. But he didn't tell me how to use anything else in here. So I can only assume that the mask is gonna work on both of these guys. Is Freddy even moving or is it just Bonnie? How many characters are moving tonight? How many characters are in this game? I can't get over these graphics. This is one of the worst looking Five Nights at Freddy's fan games I have ever seen, ever. Holy shit, this ain't good. This ain't it, Chief. Ah, oh, okay, let me, let me put the mask on. How this works? I'm gonna give it like one or two more minutes. Hi, how are you? Okay, all right. Let's uh, get the power back up now. Let's recharge this shit. So the mask does work on Bonnie. It, this appears to be inspired by the Return to Freddy's 4. This is the Return to Freddy's 4 on Wish.com. That's what I meant to say. Because that's exactly how Bonnie worked in that game. He ran past you and then got up in your face. And if you weren't hiding in the locker, or in this case, you know, if you don't have your mask on, you're dead. You die right then and there instantly. Uh oh, hi, what's going on, Bonnie? All right, see you later. Get the power back up. I ain't trying to run out of power. It's night five already. This is a pretty short night. Not that I mind. I love that. I love short nights. So that's night one knocked out. Hold up, let me get some more water and then we're gonna go into night two and then I can get off of this game. Every single cell and bone and muscle and blood vessel in my body is telling me to just get off this game, move on to the next one. Do not even think about playing another night on this game. I'm sorry, but I have to. For you guys, because, you know, I did say we're doing two nights in every one of these games, so yeah. Okay. Freddy's probably going to be moving now. Or this thingy right here, whatever the fuck it is. Sound like a 
can't hear the sound, but some of the animatronics can. And the sound restarts the animatronics so they can't hurt you or whatever. Uh, well, that's it. See you soon. Okay, I gotta play the sound for Freddy. I, I figured as much. So, Bonnie, Mask, Freddy, you gotta play the sound. But there's still one problem, okay? Do I have to wait for Freddy to actually get into my office? When is actually the appropriate time to play the sound? I don't know, but it looks like I'm gonna have to smoke on that trial and error pack. So, we're gonna be stuck on this game for a little bit longer until I can figure out how Freddy works. That's awesome. Doesn't look like this thing is gonna be moving, though, so that's good. Where'd he go? Oh, oh shit. Fuck. Mask. Mask up right now. Alright. Just like that, he's been dealt with. Now we gotta worry about Freddy. For now, anyways. Up until Bonnie starts moving again. Which is gonna be very soon. What the fuck? Who moved? That's Foxy. Oh. Do I gotta play this? I gotta wait for Freddy to get in the office, don't I? Ah. Oh. Play the sound. Okay, we did it. Oh no, my power. My power. Holy fuck, I forgot all about my power. Whew, that was close. Okay, Foxy's still chilling over there. Where's Bonnie at? He's still right there. I really hope the night ends before we gotta worry about Foxy. I really do not feel like dealing with Foxy right now. Where are they at though? Freddy's back. Well, he's about to come back. Bonnie's still chilling right there. Looks like we might see Freddy again first before we see Bonnie again. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, they attacked at the same fucking time. That's not good. That is not good. Y'all know I don't like that shit. I don't. Oh my God. Great. Gotta do this night again. Look at that model. Shit looks like it belongs in Roblox. These graphics are absolutely hideous and atrocious to even look at. Y'all have no idea. Well, actually, you do have an idea because y'all are looking at these graphics too as you're watching this video. You're experiencing this with me. I can feel your energy. Y'all are all right next to me. Experiencing this god-awful Five Nights at Freddy's fan game with me. Hmm. Yo, is Freddy gonna come through? What's he doing? I guess not. <laughs> we won. Now we can get off this game. Good shit. It's over, guys. It's over. Let's move on to the next one now. In three, two, one. All right, guys. So this is the Knights at Pizza House 2. There was a one, but... I skipped over it because, according to Jaden, this developer is uh, similar to Tyler in where the first game in this Knights at Pizza House series, right? He used a bunch of uh, stolen assets like Tyler did for the Return to Freddy's 1, the first game. And then, in the second game, you know, both of them started using their own assets and their own models and shit. <clears throat> and that's why I decided I'm just gonna play the second game and just skip over the first game. So yeah, we have created a completely new pizzeria ready to invite children and their parents at any moment. We just need a security guard who will protect all the good and will monitor the robots using the cameras. Okay, all right. The, the, the player never deserves to read the newspapers. Never. That's the rule of thumb when making a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. Control to use the flashlight. Oh, what is this? Oh no, is this another reskin of the Return to Freddy's 2? Where's the instructions? Where's the phone call? There's no phone call? I like the polish. Cameras work good. Oh. We got some movement. There's nobody in the vent. Scratch that, there actually is no vent for anybody to be inside of. We just got a hallway. And we got a flashlight. And we got a mask. I can't wear it for too long because I assume this right here is toxicity. I don't know. It doesn't say. As usual, we got the, uh... Typical low-budget-ass graphics. Oh, oh, Foxy. Okay. Alright. Was I supposed to shine my light on him? Or was I supposed to use my mask? I don't know. It looks like this is a trial and error type game. There's no phone call, no instructions. The game just plops you right on in and just tells you good luck. Figure this shit out for yourself. So I don't think flashing the light is going to work, obviously. So next time I see Foxy, I'm going to try holding the light on him. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to use the mask. If that also doesn't work, then I might end the video right there. 
Is that an animatronic? That is. It looks like it, yeah. That's an animatronic right in front of the camera. That's kind of creepy. What the fuck? What was that? I don't know. There's nothing in my office, so I don't think I gotta worry just yet. Okay, whatever was in front of Cam 2 is gone. Oh, shit. Okay. I see, um... Bonnie. Right over there. We'll be able to get a good look at him once the camera actually turns back to face him. There he is. You see him? They're getting extra active, y'all. They are getting extra active. Is there a nose for me to haunt? Yes! At least he, uh, stayed true to the most important rule of a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. He's gotta have a nose to honk. Every single Five Nights at Freddy's fan game ever made. You gotta have a nose to honk. You have to. It won't be complete without one. I don't even think that other game that we just came from playing had a nose to honk. So on the last attempt, right? A couple minutes into the night, like, I think either 12 or 1 a.m., Foxy showed up, didn't know how to deal with him, and I died. And now here, there, there ain't shit going on. There's nothing happening. Isn't that crazy? There goes Spring Bonnie. Is he actually gonna make his way over to me? Who the fuck even knows at this point? I don't. Anything can happen. Okay, mask. This is how you get rid of him, right? Okay, it is. We survived an attack, y'all. I feel so proud. Okay, we got Chica coming through. She's in the hallway now. Asserting her dominance with the T-Puzz, as you guys can see. You see that? I can see it just fine. I don't know if y'all can, though. Alright. Finally, the night's over. Damn. That was a long night. So far, so good. I'll be honest with y'all, I would play this over the Return to Freddy's 2 any day of the week. It seems to be uh, put together way better than The Return to Freddy's 2. You gotta play a whole different fucking game to beat The Return to Freddy's 2 because Tyler didn't know how to code for shit when he made that game. Okay, Foxy, hold the flashlight on him. Nope. So flashing the light didn't work, holding the light didn't work. Do I have to use the mask on him? Let me try it. Is this really a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game where you get rid of Foxy by using the mask instead of the light? The mask never works on Foxy in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 style games. Only the flashlight does, but did he actually switch it up here? I don't know. Let's find out. That's if we even get attacked by Foxy again for the rest of this night. So it seems like you don't really have to check the cameras or do anything. There's no music box to wind up. You can use the flashlight, but... What does that matter when there's nothing to fucking do in the cameras besides look at the animatronics? I don't even think it's possible to track how close they are to you because they all go into this one spot. This is the only spot they can get you from right here, right in front of you, this hallway. It looks like all I can do is just sit and wait for one of them to come through and attack me. Oh shit. Was that one of them? Nope. Okay. Huh. So I gotta use the mask on Foxy. Damn. This is the first game I've seen where you gotta use the mask on Foxy. That's crazy. But yeah, um, I was on my phone. That's why it took me so long to react. It looks like this game is another sit around and do nothing simulator. I don't like games where there's too much happening, but I also don't like games where there's nothing happening. I like games that have a perfect balance between the two, though. I usually get along with games like that pretty well. But not this one. No, no, no. This ain't it. Maybe I'll come back for another video. It'll be the last and final video I'll ever make on this game, though. So I'll come in with the intention of finishing it completely. If I feel like it. Okay, Foxy. Yeah, I'm not playing this shit no more. I'm done. So that was another three low-budget Five Nights at Freddy's fan games video. These games definitely fit better into that category than some of the ones that I played in the last one. Especially that second one, but we don't talk about that second one, okay? 
As always, I'll do another one of these videos if this video does well. And again, feel free to give me the names of any games you might know of that might fit into the category of low budgetness, okay? Learn a lesson from these three games that my friend Jaden sent me, okay? Like, bro wasn't playing around. I asked him to send me three low budget games that I could play. He didn't hold back at all. He was not playing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.